Welcome back to Sam's Garage, presented by NH Oil Undercoating. You went and got yourself new bumpers from Bumper Depot because the old one, the front one, had a dent in it, right? Yeah, it had a dent and it needed a little bit of work. They were old, Sam. They just need to be re-chromed. They had some in stock. That was absolutely wonderful. Everybody else that I spoke to was way out there as far as delivery. And, and the quality looks great. You know, Sam and I, I'm really hoping now we're doing something that we don't run into a lot of issues. This looks pretty good. <laughs> Told you guys before, when you're doing a build like this, you're always running into things that you just don't expect. And we, buddy, we have run into our fair share. We have, but this one's gonna involve welding, so anything could happen. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna put the two wings on, make this a one-piece bumper. We're gonna put our lights in place, and then Joe made us new brackets to go with the bumpers to weld onto your new frame. That looks good. Now we're getting everything lined out. What we've got to do is we've got to weld the brackets on the frame. So what we're going to do is we're going to get nuts and bolts. We're going to go ahead and bolt the bracket on the bumper. Then we're going to line it up. Then we'll tack it into position, see if we like it. We've got to make sure that we've got a lot of play in the bolt so we can adjust everything around to get it lined in. It's, a, it's actually just a tad low. It's a, it you are a tad up. low, she's a tad high. Yeah, That's good. but I think that can all be adjusted. Right there. Do you want to tighten that up, Sam? Tighten what up? The, the nuts and bolts, because I know we're about in the right position here. And see if it stays. What we did is, is we, we took the bumper and then we had to make brackets and get everything to weld up to the frame. Uh, we had to grind everything off to make sure when you get the weld, you don't want to have any rust or anything on it. You have that oxide and you won't get real good penetration onto it. We set everything in place. We put blue tape on it. The blue tape was just so we don't scratch the paint. After we're done welding it and mounting it, which is what we have now, uh, we'll loosen the bumper off, we'll take it off. Then we'll go ahead and we'll remove all the tape and then we'll go ahead and put it back into position. It takes a few minutes to do this, but when it comes out, it just looks fabulous. We really wanted to make sure that we had the original style bumpers chrome because you know, back in the 50s, the chrome they had on car was absolutely beautiful. How good does that look, huh? Doug, check it out. It bling, looks, bling. Sam, it looks absolutely wonderful. I mean, it was a little bit of work, but it came out absolutely beautiful. And that's only because you made a new frame. So we had to weld the brackets for the bumper onto the frame and then line up everything. So that's the only reason why it took nine hours. Yeah, you know, we also got very lucky with the bumper depot. I was able to do an exchange, so I didn't have to wait for my old bumper to get done and then come on back. The exchange looks absolutely fantastic. And the price was right. Next week, join us. We're gonna be doing the rear bumper and hopefully it won't be as hard as the front one, but I doubt that. <laughs> we'll look forward to it.